Kalani moves it into the middle just out of the reach of Maroon. Bruins will bring it right back in. Sammy Votten in there to get it. The Finnish Olympian throws it up the boards. Intercepted by Smith. Burns around Rob by the glove hand of Jonas Hiller. Right-handed robbery for the Anaheim netminder. A lot of board work down low, but Boston does a good job of sealing things off, not allowing the Ducks any kind of pathways in the front of the net. Fowler blocks the clearing attempt, and the Ducks get it right back in. Valeski on the doorstep set up by Perry. That was a rolling puck. Around the wall is Marchand, who's knocked down as he pulls it off the net. High in the air, Dougie Hamilton gloves it down and keeps it in the zone. Smith into the slot, first round, Marchand. Game winning streak now, fifth in the league with 20 wins. As Hiller, and he makes a stop on Fruit, and he denies Campbell on the rebound. Kaye had a bit as well. Paul Mary takes it to the boards, but can't get it out. Campbell again throws it on net, and Hiller holds on. Goaltender can't see it, but it's a well placed shot. Good things will start happening. Perot with a face off win, and Solani now in front. Perot scores! Great pass from Tamu Solani. He is not on his off wing, and he just kind of shovels it. Patrick Maroon was in the vicinity, may have distracted to the rasp, and this puck is perfect up into the top corner, and Anaheim takes the lead. And Anaheim back on the power play, one for one tonight. As Getzloff works the point, finds a wide open. Benino, save, rebound, score, Perry! But that's just a great play by Ryan Getzloff at the point. Under all that pressure, he coolly finds the seam, throws it down, and Corey Perry grabs the rebound and says thank you. Ryan Spooner, as a rookie, has been pretty effective on the Boston power play this season. That's why he's out there right now with the number one unit. He wears number 51. Bruins turn it over in their own end. Winning to Conley who scores! Turns away from Koivu and knocks it loose. Delayed offside. No longer delayed. Here come the Bruins. Possible two on one floor. Gets it over. Oh, Hiller. Unable to pull it back after he made the initial save on Paye and trickles in. I had to change. Watch this elbow by Campbell. Great under the jaw of Matthew Perot. So while he's going to the bench, the Ducks are a little short-handed as the Bruins counterattack. Nifty little play by Pye. That's ice time leader. Goes with the ball in the front of the net. Luxury battles it away. Still loose. Hamilton scores. Jonas Hiller is complaining that he could not make a play on the puck because Jerome McGinley was inside the goal crease. Scrambling a little bit. Hiller makes a couple of saves. Not much Jerome McGinley could do because Cam Fowler was all over top of him, and that's what referee Don Van Massenhoven said. It was Solani. 20 seconds left of the penalty to Marshawn. Ducks two for two in this game. Gets off, finds it open. Benito scores! What a pass again by Getzloff. Lindholm hard around the dash and gets help from Maroon who clears. That's a good clear by Hampus Lindholm. Solani leads it ahead, two on one with Perot who scores! And Hondeson has the puck jabbed out of harm's way by Getzloff. Hit back into the crease and Hiller knocks it away. Getzloff rims it around and out and that'll do it. The Ducks defeat the Boston Bruins tonight by a final score of 5-2 to two and on the center.